You guys ready to look at plants? What's up friends? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Pam and I'm gonna say that weird today. Today we're gonna be looking at a bunch of plants that I bought during quarantine. Apologies in advance if you hear a bunch of cars going by. It is way too hot to keep the windows closed. I'm gonna show you some plants that I purchased, some that were sent to me. Um, a very exciting surprise for you guys, and um, a few wish list plants crossed off. So all in all, very exciting plant haul. I am not entirely sure what order I got things in. There was really just a point where uh, I was filling my sadness with hitting purchase buttons. Um, I didn't go too crazy. You know me, I don't spend a lot of money on plants generally. Um, so, you know, I tried to, I tried to, I was trying to keep my chill a little bit. However, I didn't keep it entirely. So I will try to remember as I go where I got everything. So we'll start with this one. So this is an Alocasia Maharani and I picked this up from Il Exotics and they're a fantastic company. I have ordered from them twice now, I believe, and I've been very happy both times. Um, they packed it very well. It arrived really well. It actually had another leaf that did fall off but this one had come out right afterwards. And that was just an adjustment thing. It arrived fine, but I think as it acclimated, as it acclimated to my apartment, it just, it had to just let one go. You know how alocasias roll. If you've never seen these, they have this incredible, just prehistoric looking foliage. And it's like a very, let's see if you can hear it. It's like, it's like a texture to it. It's, it's really cool. It's a cool little plant. Um, that one actually I got a restock message at like 3 a.m. Uh, when I was weak and powerless so I it's a good tactic guys that's a good is everybody gonna come home right now I'm sweating my eyebrows off here next is this beauty look at her who is she oh my god this is a begonia Lipon, Lipon, Lipon. Um, I bought this purely because it looks like this and um, I needed a very bright green begonia in my life. Summer Rain Oaks has one in her kitchen and that just put it in my head that I needed a bright green one. And this one, this one hit me hard. <laughs> so I had to get it. The leaves actually come in this like dark crimson color and it did not show up this lush this has just happened under a very cheap led clampy grow light just those little amazon jobs but it is just flourishing i left it in its pot because a lot of growers including steve's leaves now are asking that people leave their plants in the pots for 30 days or they do not guarantee that they will replace it if something happens to it so um, i don't mind that i did that kind of anyway i really only repot things right away if they are like bumming so while i was on steve's leaves website i also picked up one of these which i have always wanted and this is a rickrack cactus the latin name no, that's not it, really? Okay. Why didn't anybody tell me? Okay, so this part of the tag has been buried for quite some time. So, um, there, you, there you go. Anthony Anus. I don't know how to separate. I don't know. Anthony Anus. That's, that's what it says. Fun story about this. Um, in my plant buying hysteria, it was uh, it, everything seemed to arrive at once, even though I ordered them at all different times, and it was a very chaotic week. So I actually put this in my window to get some gentle morning light, and then I forgot about it. Um, and the wind blew it over onto the floor, and uh, that's where it sat for about two weeks, till I remembered it. So if anybody was wondering, that's how you know it's time to stop buying plants. <laughs> Unfortunately, I didn't. So here we have a Hoya in a bag. You may remember why I put Hoyas in bags. Oh, but this isn't that Hoya. This is another Hoya that came with free mealy bugs. Not from the same place either. 
Let's give this guy a little peekaroo. So this is a Hoya Rose. There you go. It's that one. Uh, this one did end up with a mealybug on it, and it had quite a bit of weird damage on it when it arrived. I got this from Gardino's. I don't know if that's like a normal order from them or not, um, but I know that they have Hoyas a lot, so I've been watching their website and looking for some fun Hoyas, and I really liked the blooms on this one. I will um, put them on the screen. So I decided to grab it, but um, yeah, it definitely ended up arriving uh, pretty sad looking and with mealybugs. So we're trying to rehab it now and hopefully it will be fine. Um, we're on about a week clear of mealybugs right now. So I got this little guy after I saw Adam, not dude, open his. And they came in this really cool little bubble packaging that was like basically just made for them. Um, super secure and safe and the shipping was free and this was very affordable. So I believe the name of the company was The New Plant Co. on Etsy. I'll put it here if I, if I said the name wrong. Um, I forgot to write things down before I started, but check her out. Ooh. So this is a Makotis Patola. Makotis Patola. I wish I could insert Aaron saying it in a much nicer accent than mine. But this is the bronze version. Isn't that cool? It's got a little bit of darkness like the Ludicia discolor, but with the same markings as the Makotis and I'm I'm in love with it. It is so cool. I've just got it in a little mason jar and some moss right now until I get a prettier um, enclosure for it. But um, yeah, so I've just kind of been keeping this, you know, slightly, slightly a jar because um, I don't want it to get too funky in there. Kind of how I handle most of my stuff that's under glass with the exception of my heart fern, which I don't ever let breathe air ever doesn't like to share oxygen with humans I th i'm pretty sure that there might be some plants i'm missing but i can't think of them right now so let's just pretend they didn't exist so i just got this plant this past week i actually met up with julie from farm coast house plants on instagram and she uh we had like a distance um visit so we went to her favorite nursery, Peckham's Greenhouse, and I had actually never been there and had been trying to go for literally two years. So um, that was the nursery that I drove to on my birthday for anyone that follows me on Instagram and it was closed. <laughs> I was like, damn, I saw this plant and I just like could not walk away from it because it was so different than anything I had seen. And it almost looks like a peperomia, but it almost looks fake and it's so symmetrical. This is a Clusia princess. I have done a little bit of Googling on it, but um, not enough yet. But as far as I understand, this is one of the only varieties of Clusia that is generally sold, but it's just really cool looking. I'm noticing it has like this goop in between the leaves. So I'm guessing it does the same kind of thing that philodendrons do. It's like some kind of gutation or something. But look at that. It doesn't even look real and it's but it's just so dang even i just love it so i had to grab it even though i didn't really know a lot about it so hopefully i don't kill it and if you have this um feel free to leave me some tips but for now this one's still in quarantine because we just got it so i'm gonna stick it by the way that plant was only eight dollars and this one was six this chunky boy right here is a recently flowered um, string of dolphins. I actually picked this up from my mom. I'm pretty sure she doesn't watch my videos, um, so she hopefully won't see this, but I grabbed this for her for her birthday. She actually, I got her another one that was very small and it actually died and she felt super bad about it. So the fact that this one was only $5.95 and they have them all the time um, and I could just easily keep giving them to her until she learns how to take care of them. That filled me with great joy. So I picked her up this guy and it's it's like way happier than mine. So hopefully she'll be able to take care of this. Um, and if not, I'll just get her another one, you know? She's new to succulents. Very tiny spider and it's, it's very cute because it's a real spider and not a spider mite. You go ahead and you do your thing. You do your thing, you just do it over there, okay? And now I will show you a couple of very sweet gifts that I received in the mail. 
Lyra from Lyra Loves Leaves actually sent me a, a whole box full of goodies, including like some cool makeup and stuff to try. She tried to send me a couple of Moringa plants and um, they did not quite make it. I do have one stump left that I'm just sort of watching and hoping will sprout again, but they, they definitely got bummed out in a, in a, you know, the slow mail system. But she also packed these super adorable little babies. I actually forgot to confirm with her that these are Kalanchoe's, but they look like Kalanchoe's. So I have these little guys and they're sitting right next to the air plant babies that she sent me before. So I love that I get these cute little things from her of little things she's started and propagated. Hopefully the Moringa plant will perk back up and I can show that to you guys later. And now I will show you uh, probably the, uh, the flashiest, the flashiest item on my haul here. You guys might remember that Rachel sent me a cutting of her Monstera elbow and unfortunately the root node had frozen in transit and rotted away. I still have the leaf in water, funnily enough, it's still fine, um, but she actually sent me a, a very large replacement cutting. Isn't that awesome? And then there's another little leaf coming in right there. And I have been rooting it in water. I had originally stuck it in dirt when I got it. Um, I usually just root Monstera right in dirt and just keep the soil kind of moist at first. But um, yeah, this one, I was just a little nervous about. So I put this one in water for a little bit just to let it perk up and um, start growing some roots. And it is, so I am very excited. So that's it for now. I do have one pretty big order coming from Thailand at some point. They have just started the airmail shipping process again and um, I ordered from New Life Tropicals, which I get 50%, oh, you'll be fine, and 50%, oh, you fucked up. So we'll see what happens, but they're not shipping my order right now. They're going to do some test shipments with some Sansevierias and like the tougher plants just to see how those go before they trust the newly opened airmail system, which I think personally is very smart and I'm I'm not upset about having to wait. I ordered something from Thailand in the middle of a pandemic. So yeah, I'm, I'm not bothered at all that it's been, um, I think I ordered in middle of April. So it was like, you know, pandemic, like we were in a pandemic. So it's, I did not expect these plants anytime soon. So I would much rather they wait until they think they have a good chance of getting here semi alive. Uh, so yeah, that's, that will be my final quarantine plant haul. Uh, we're kind of out of it now, even though we're not. I feel like we're not calling it quarantine anymore. Like my neighbors are throwing parties and stuff. Which one of these was your favorite? Let me know down below. And uh, you know, if I find any more plants that I forgot about, I'll stick them on Instagram. <laughs> All right guys, I will see you in the next one. Bye.